Now that was interesting. Good evening, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the Brain Dead Breakdown. And today I was going to do a new Spirit Box song, and then I had a look, and it turns out they they have a new song uh, as of a couple of days ago called Cellar Door. Um, so we're just going to check that one out because there like there hasn't been a bad Spirit Box song on the channel yet. I've enjoyed every Spirit Box song I've listened to. I've thought they were a great band. I've enjoyed the vibe that they they throw down. And I'm all for it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna see what the new song is. This is Cellar Door. See, like I'm I'm new to Spirit Box, so I so I could be completely wrong. But this one's this one's not like the others, you know. Like this one's a bit heavier, um, a bit less pleasing to the ear. But like I'm like that, that's not an insult at all because not all songs are supposed to be. But like all the ones I've heard previously, you know, a lot more uh, melodic. They they flow. There's like the notes aren't cut off prematurely, you know, as much and all that, you know, like throughout the beginning but this one it's just been like dun, dun, like staccato notes and cutting off and like off beat and just like yeah yeah this one's this is different from uh, what i've heard from them before and like I'm, i guarantee i'm gonna get people in the comments but I've, I've heard four of their songs or three so i don't have a wide range to, to choose from in to compare to for them but yeah i'm, I'm liking this so far let's keep going I like the mimicking as well. I like how there's multiple of every band member, you know, like there's two drummers back to back and then there's like three bassists and then three lead singers. You know, I like that. That's that's a cool little I like the effect they're they are they are doing. And I like I know that that's that's not really what we're reacting to here, but you know, that's a thought I had, so I thought I'd throw it out there, you know.
This is the this has got to be the heaviest spirit box song I've listened to yet. Feels like Stranger Things, you know, like it's fading out into like Stranger Things music. <laughs> now that was interesting. That was the heavy. That was that was definitely the heaviest Spirit Box song I've heard so far. But I need to go back to that breakdown area. Let's go back around here, maybe. There is a See, it's funny. I said at the start of this journey, I didn't really like breakdowns. It's funny how shit can change in a month. Like, there, like there's certain breakdowns I like. Obviously, there's exceptions to the rule and all that stuff. But man, it's been a month, and already, like, my, it's gone from my instant reaction to a breakdown being to being interested. And it's because they use better now. Like literally when I first started, like, you know, when breakdowns first started coming in to like, you know, like they are the modern breakdown anyway. Obviously breakdowns have been around for a while and used differently in older metal, but the modern breakdown, you know, in Gent, when it was just like, oh, that shit got so boring and it just gave breakdowns a bad name for me in my head. But this has proved me wrong. You know, they've come so, like like a lot of the things that I'm picking up on in this modern metal journey. They've just it's come so far, and you know, like I, when modern metal, for you know, like the the heavy heavy stuff first started becoming a thing, and it was moving away from solos and more and more into just screaming, and you know, just detuned guitars and all that. I started to lose lose interest. But it's like it's innovated. It's come far, and I and I'm all for it now. Like I am all for it. I but like and I'm I'm I'll admit when I'm wrong. You know, like that I, I was in a band, and we went off in different ways. You know, because they wanted to go heavier, and I didn't. And and I feel somewhat validated now because I now know that we were both right. You know, it wasn't a case of like, oh no, they they I was wrong and they were right, or no, I am right and they're wrong. It was we were both right. The way that they wanted to go has become a thing now, and they're actually doing quite well. I'm not going to say the name of the band, but like, but you know, like they're doing all right. You know, like they're doing all right for themselves and stuff. But then on the flip side, had I found a band that wanted to do the things that I wanted to do, we probably would be as well, because it's like bands like Unleash the Archers are a thing, and that's the direction I wanted to go. You know, so it's just neat. Like we were both right. Yeah, and it's just yeah, I, but. Anyway, tangent over. Let's just listen to Kit get back to this fucking awesome breakdown. <laughs>
goes but i'm in i thoroughly enjoyed this we're leaving a like another like and another spirit box song what is the price <laughs> but no that was great that was really good that i say heaviest one i've heard so far and whilst heavy for, uh, the heaviest song in a veterans catalog is not a guaranteed oh yeah i'm automatically gonna think it's great thing for me like that was one of them that was one that i really enjoyed that but they they pull off heavy incredibly well and her voice is her voice is great like her her, her cleans her screams all of it's great there wasn't many cleans in that song but you don't need them when she's got a growl and a scream like that it was that was sick <laughs> what else can i say i have been brain dead if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike subscribe for more like this comment down below to join the discussion Thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.